Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering several topics with a focus on installation of Pyridiomics on Windows. My machine has Windows 10, so most of the discussion will assume Windows 10 as operating system. I'll be covering installation on Python and on Docker container. And then finally, once Pyridiomics has been installed, will run a simple example on pyridiomics. Along the way, we'll be covering some key concepts that will be used with this pyridiomics software. I will be covering pyridiomics, git bash, docker container, and Jupyter notebook. So with that, let's get started. Hey friends, uh, today I will be talking about using pyridiomics and how to install it on your Windows 10 machine. Pyridiomics is a Python based package which is used for extracting radiomics features from medical images. Pyridiomics is a Python based toolbox which offers image filtering and feature extraction capabilities. A input image such as a 2D or 3D image of brain or lung can be fed into Pyridiomics toolbox and that toolbox can be used for applying image filters to the input image or it can be directly used for extracting features for further data analysis and drawing the conclusions. Pyridiomics in all offers several built-in image filters and more than 140 feature extraction uh, algorithms which can be used for further data analysis. In today's uh, video, I'm going to talk about how to install it. Uh, you can go to Pyridiomics website and they have very good documentation on how to install it, how to use it and all. But as I uh, tried to install Pyridiomics on Windows 10 machine, I ran into a whole bunch of problems. So I thought I will generate a video so that others can also benefit from my work. If you go to the installation instructions here on the website, uh, they give uh, basic instructions on uh, how to install it on various operating systems and I will be focusing on win Windows. So the very first step is uh, for installation you have to have the git installed on your machine. Uh, you can easily get the git. Git for Windows can be easily downloaded. Uh, you can do a Google search, download git for Windows and it will give you a few options. So I uh, picked randomly this git for Windows and if you go to the site, uh, it will provide you uh, executable um, package. Um, so one of the uh, utilities which will come with the package is the git bash. Uh, that's going to be very important. Uh, so for the pyridiomics work, either you can use a Windows uh, command prompt or you can use the bash. Um, bash is more recommended, uh, but both will work fine. And uh, Get it installed or for Windows 10 and then uh, you need to have Python uh, which can be either 2.7 or 3.7 any other versions may not work um, smoothly on your machine um, I installed 3.4 and uh, try to work with it but I ran into some problems which once you install the Python then you can use git to clone the repository into your machine and it will create a pyridiomics directory wherever you specify the path. So once you have installed pyridiomics files, you can go to the directory cd uh, pyridiomics and then if you want to use python for installation and setup, you can use the uh, commands specified by pyridiomics website where you will use the pip to install all the requirements and then you will set up and install. So this is a fairly long process as it installs various packages um, such as NumPy um, and others. And uh, during this process on Windows 10 machine, I ran into a whole bunch of problems and it took me over two days to resolve them. Ultimately, I gave up and looked for alternative solutions on for Windows 10. Once you have cloned the git package, um, we'll go into the directory and 
look for the files um, so as you can see pyradumex uh, has downloaded all the files needed uh, one of the important um, files is requirements which specifies how to install the package uh, so before uh, we uh, before we uh, install anything i want to make sure i don't have any previous uh, uh, compilations or anything so I, i'll run the git clean um, using git clean xdf so it cleans all the previously compiled files so we'll start uh, fresh here so first command i will follow is the python um, dash m this is the python module invoking pip to install uh, everything under the file requirements.txt so this will take some time so i'm going to pause the video and we'll come back once uh, this is done okay so that is done and uh, it came back with the error about the numpy so it says uh, module error numpy not found um, so uh, we need to go and fix this problem so in order to fix this problem um, you know i uh, one of the things i found is first i will check the python version uh, so what i'm running and as you can see the problem is right there i'm running a newer version of python which is incompatible so what we will do is we'll clean up this directory again and uh, uh, run with uh, python version 3.4 which is specified uh, and the way to do that is you just use the command pi with revision number 3.4 so after cleaning the area i'm going to rerun it and see how that goes again we'll come back after a few moments so uh, it came back and uh, voila like we have been able to install it so it has installed numpy simple itk uh, pi wavelets uh, pi kwa liffy and uh, other files uh, pi yaml etc so this all looks good uh, so we'll go to the next step as we learned uh, we were using the wrong version of pi so i will stick with 3.4 um, to set up um, so setup will tell how to uh, set up the whole radio mix package and we'll want it to install it so we can run uh, the package so this finished and uh, it has um, copied all the files which were needed for pyridiomics and uh, it started to compile and uh, at the end of the day it uh, threw an error um, which is a very weird error uh, microsoft visual c plus plus 10.0 is required and uh, they recommend to get the sdk version from this uh, website uh, so i've spent quite a bit of time on this website uh, trying various options and uh, none of them worked uh, so i have tried uh, visual studio all versions of them uh, visual studio 2012 2013 2017 uh, but uh, none of them could fix the problem um, just to say that i i did start with visual c plus plus 10.0 um, but uh, that also did not work so i uh, desperately look for uh, alternative solution and i found that solution in terms of docker container um, which i found very nice this was my first experience with docker and i'm fairly impressed uh, with um, with that I would, and i will highly recommend for my listeners to use that So now um, I will switch gears to looking for alternative methods to Python based installation. So if you go to uh, Git Hub for Pyridomics package, they have provided some additional options on how to install it. Uh, obviously, previously we talked about using Python to Python pip to install uh, the package. Uh, the other new technology which has come up is called docker uh, so docker is like a virtual platform container which uh, is really good because it lets you move your whole application from one machine to another uh, so uh, pyridomics is supporting dockers and currently they have jupyter notebook which is uh, a docker environment uh, which is uh, which has pre-built Pyridomics pre-installed into it. Uh, so uh, if you use this route, uh, then 
you need to have a virtual virtualization ready machine uh, so under windows 10 you can reboot your machine go into the bios setting and enable the virtualization once you have the virtualization done then you will have to install dockers itself on your machine uh, you can do that by google searching docker and it will uh, provide you the docker directory and you install it and once the docker is installed then you can follow these instructions like docker build uh, t radiomics notebook uh, so this is one of the notebooks which will be used with jupyter uh, which will uh, uh, elaborate later on and then once uh, uh, you have built the notebook then you can run it uh, basically you will publish it on your local host 8888 port and uh, provide it the volume uh, where the, your data will be sitting and then finally uh, ask it to run the notebook uh, one of the uh, things i struggled with is uh, windows 10 does not recognize pwd command so i had to uh, find um, solution for that uh, you had to specify the absolute path so absolute path is specified using double quotations so i have users um, first last name uh, pyridomics and data so i have for the you know it could be any username you might have in my case it is first uh, space last um, because you i have a space i had to use double quotations to make sure uh, this volume can be interpreted by docker um, so um, so by providing this absolute path i can um, publish my uh, application which is jupyter notebook uh, it will be ported on 8888 so um, so now i will uh, give a little bit explanation of what the containers and docker engine is uh, so um, usually like in a cloud centric environments uh, you have uh, a infrastructure which can be shared by various users and various applications um, so in older uh, virtualization uh, schemes you used to have uh, guest os which could be running your applications uh, so this is a pretty um, lengthy and pretty big process if you have to move your application from one place to another so they have come up with a docker version where you can have docker version docker engine running on your machine and it lets you um, take the application which can be part of the docker engine which can be given to uh, users for installation so in my case uh, i install the docker like so i'll give you one example here this may windows so once you run dockers it will install it will pull all the packages and uh, do the installation for you uh, it this whole process takes a little bit of time but um, it uh, comes with uh, um, you know all the uh, packages needed and once the installation finishes uh, you can just run your uh, pyridomics <clears throat> So um, I did that and after uh, you know installations and running uh, at the end of the day I, I will switch directly to my outcome. Um, so once uh, the dust settles um, you will have your uh, docker ready to run. Uh, Jupyter is a web-based um, application uh, which lets you uh, or environment which lets you run your application such as Python um, you can execute it from the web and it can use uh, various uh, text elements built in um, as part of it so this is called uh, Jupyter notebook uh, we'll use that so uh, the way it works is uh, for uh, pyridomics you have docker container uh, which one of them is jupyter which comes with it so all you have to do is uh, run this jupyter and it will set up the website for you uh, so jupyter here is another example of showing what the jupyter looks like so jupyter is a lets you run your application in an interactive web page mode and uh, display the data or get the results for your execution 
So when you run the Docker command, um, it will produce and publish a page on your root port 8888. Uh, the way it works is uh, you specify Docker run command and you are asking it to run Radiomics notebook uh, package and uh, the volume which is going to use dash v uh, is going to be picked up from your data directory and the results will be published on your local root port 8888. Uh, so once you run this command docker will uh, give you specific uh, web address which you can cut and paste with token uh, on your uh, local browser. Uh, so I use chrome and uh, once I uh, run this uh, it creates a tree on root port 888 and I can browse through the directories here. Um, so uh, starting with the work directory, it has three subdirectories, data, examples, and notebooks. So in the data directory, it has all my images, such as uh, brain, uh, lung, uh, breast uh, images. So these are the images which we'll be using in the examples uh, today. And uh, going back to other directories in the examples directory, you have the settings specified for the examples uh, and uh, the way settings are used in uh, uh, pyridiomics is you have a parameters yaml file so in the parameters yaml file there are three main sections uh, settings um, the feature classes and image type in the settings section uh, is a standard setting section on how the pyridiomics will be run uh, in the image uh, section uh, you will specify what kind of filters you want to apply for your images. Uh, in our examples, we are not speci uh, specifying any kind of filters uh, for enhancing the image or uh, doing any kind of uh, processing. So we are using the original images. And then in the feature classes, you can specify what features you want to analyze or extract. In our case, we are pretty much using all the features, shape, uh, first order, GLCM, GR, uh, GLR, LM, GLS, ZM, and GLDM. So uh, you can change these parameters uh, for your examples, but for our basic examples, we'll be going with the uh, regular um, uh, YAML file which comes with the package. Um, going back up in the directory, the third one is the notebooks. Uh, notebooks is the one where we take the examples and run them. Uh, so uh, the uh, the original uh, uh, pyridiomics package comes with uh, various examples which are good to learn uh, so today like just for um, giving a flavor of these examples i'm going to pick one of them uh, and in subsequent videos i'll be covering more examples uh, to learn together so going into the pyridiomics example um, so uh, again jupiter is a um, uh, Jupyter can run our applications in the web browser mode so it brings up our um, uh, the example file and uh, breaks it into various sections which will be run uh, one at a time so for example uh, the first command uh, it is uh, going to import all the python modules needed to uh, uh, needed for this particular example uh, so once you run it um, you can uh, uh, you know it, it will uh, import all the packages needed second step is to um, uh, set up the data so uh, again the data is stored into pyridiomics data directory and uh, here are the commands for image path parameters path so once you run the second command uh, it will um, you know it will um, uh, get all these uh, uh, data for the for the example and uh, in the next step uh, you uh, you uh, instantiate the extractor um, uh, so running that will instantiate all the parameters and uh, and so on so you can continue uh, going through this example and uh, at the end of the day it will um, extract the features uh, in in my last commands and i ran this program earlier and you can see the results um, which will come out so all the features which have been extracted will be printed on the screens uh, so this can be used for further an analysis so that's what uh, pyridiomics does where uh, you can give the image and it can extract the uh, parameters which can be later on uh, analyzed So that concludes my video for getting started with Pyridiomics on Windows. I hope you get started and contribute significantly to the world of radiomics. 
Please share the video and leave me some comments. Thank you.